Welcome to the measurement video that explores how to find the area of a trapezium. It will have a formula in it, so our steps for formula solutions, we'll put the formula on the top line, we'll substitute all the numbers in underneath the formula from the question, we'll calculate our answer and we'll be careful with our units. So that setting up helps a lot. All the units that are there. Now this uh, video is looking at uh, finding the area of a trapezium, the area. So we'll be looking to use square units in our answers. Millimetres squared, metres squared and things like that. Okie dokie, what's a trapezium? That's one there. Now let's have a look at all the features of it. We have a perpendicular height hopefully. Um, so we're often given that dimension and that helps us find the area. So we'll call that H for height. It's at 90 degrees to the base. You'll notice there's a right angle symbol down there. So it must be at 90 degrees to the base for us to use it. Uh, there are parallel lines on the top and the bottom. And so we'll indicate that, and we'll, often the question will indicate that by having some parallel line markings on the top and the bottom, the little arrows there. So they're parallel. Now the top parallel line for trapeziums, we usually name it A, and the base parallel line we'll call B, just to give us something to work with here, and we'll piece together a formula for finding the area of a trapezium using A, H and B. And here it is. Area equals a half of the height multiplied by a bracket in which we're adding A and B together. So a half height A plus B, a half H A plus B with the A plus B in brackets. So that's our formula for the area of a trapezium. Okay, when we've got some numbers, we've got a perpendicular height of 6, we've got that A top parallel line with 8 across it, and the base parallel line has 10 centimetres on it. So we'll look to, uh, in line 2, substitute all those numbers just under the right letters in under the formula. So half of the height is 6, so he'll go where the H is. Then we'll have a bracket with the top parallel 8 uh, added to the base parallel 10. And when we type that all into our calculator or uh, do a bit of mental calculations, we'll get uh, an area number of 54. That's our number answer. Let's check our units now. Uh, for area, we use square units instead of centimetres, uh, which we have in the question, 8 centimetres, 6 centimetres and 10 centimetres. We're going to use square units, so our answer will be 54 centimetres squared. So we had a, a formula for the area of a trapezium. We just plugged in all the numbers, substituted all the numbers in directly underneath the right spots, read it off carefully from our diagram and uh, did a bit of calculating. And we're using square units. Now, as a slight variation, this one's an interesting It's interesting figure. It's still a trapezium, although it's got an extra feature, really. One of the sides is acting as the perpendicular height, really. It doesn't have one of those slopey heights that it had before. So we can have a little bit of a choice here. We can still process the A, the H, and the B underneath our normal everyday trapezium formula that we just saw in the previous example. That's the standard question. Nothing wrong with that. That'll still work out if we put all the numbers in the right spots. But we do have an extra choice here. Because of the nature of that 90 degree side, we can actually break it up into a rectangle and find that area and a triangle and find that area. Because we are, we should be able to work out the lengths of the um, the base of the triangle and the perpendicular height will be the same for the triangle as it is for that left-hand rectangle. So we have the option on these particular trapeziums um, of chopping it up into two bits and working it out that way. There's a previous video on, video on finding composite areas and that uh, similar example is worked out there. We're not going to do numbers on this one but I just wanted to point out that we have a choice when that happens, when one of the sides is uh, a right angle um, we have a choice of doing it one of two ways in the normal area of a trapezium way or chopping it up into a rectangle and a triangle. You can choose on that one if you're careful. So just to recap, it's a formula. We'll follow those formula steps and the setting out really does half our work for us. So set out your work carefully. And uh, the area of a trapezium, half the height, A plus B in brackets. Hope that helps. Um, have a bit of practice at trapeziums and see how you go. 
Thanks for that, and we'll catch you next time for some more videos. Uh, anytime you need some help with your maths, or you just want to check that you still know what you think you should still know, peterblakemath.com. Check it out. Thanks a lot. See you next time.